In 2010, the Southwest Council of Governments, or COG, was awarded a $3 million grant to implement a high-capacity network for the regional governments. The total project, including local matching funds, is $4 million. The grant is the result of Senate Bill 232 and was awarded by the Colorado Department of Local Affairs. The project calls for the completion of last mile fiber and wireless infrastructure in each of the communities shown, and the creation of a region-wide government network to connect the communities. Welcome to Southwest Colorado and the Southwest Colorado Council of Governments, also known as the Southwest COGS, presentation of the Last Mile Fiber Project. Due to a partnership with Colorado Department of Local Affairs, otherwise known as DOLA, and the individual members of the Southwest COG, the Southwest Colorado Access Network, also known as SCAN, is in its final stages of being constructed. In Archuleta County, the SCAN project deployed about four miles of aerial and buried fiber and 12 connecting vaults within the town of Pagosa Springs, costing about $647,000. Pagosa Springs and Archuleta County partnered with local provider USA Aerial to share fiber so as to avoid overbuilding and cut costs. Pagosa Springs and Archuleta County utilized a robust microwave system to build redundancy into their network. They also connected some distant government facilities with the microwave system. The extensive fiber route selected also gives the opportunity for the schools, library, fire district, Pagosa Area Water and Sanitation District, Emergency Medical, the hospital, and the 911 center to connect and purchase their services at an aggregated point at the hospital. This is efficient for vendors as well as all the entities that can be serviced from a single location. The town of Dove Creek and Dolores County combined their available grant funds and partnered with Farmers Telephone and EagleNet to purchase and install almost seven miles of conduit and fiber that would connect the schools as well as the county courthouse. As a result of the scan funds, bandwidth at the courthouse went from 8 to 20 megabytes, while the schools went from 10 to 30 megabytes. The school connection was noted as a particularly important piece of the project. Ultimately, the County Road and Bridge Department as well as town offices will also be connected to the courthouse. Overall, SCAN has brought the potential bandwidth up to 100 megabytes at a cost of about $151,000. In La Plata County, the fiber optic telecommunications infrastructure and demand for broadband services are concentrated in county offices and community anchor institutions located in municipalities. The county man maintains partnerships with the towns of Bayfield and Ignacio and the city of Durango to provide many government services. The SCAN project deployed about 8 miles of fiber and conduits within the city of Durango, costing about $686,000. In the town of Bayfield, the SCAN project deployed more than 5 miles of aerial and buried fiber and 29 connecting vaults, costing about $581,000. Bayfield partnered with a local provider to share fiber so as to vo avoid overbuilding and to cut costs. Bayfield also utilized some wireless to connect three additional town facilities. La Plata County has joint facilities with Bayfield and as such both entities gained efficiencies in cost by connecting the joint facilities by fiber. The route selected affords the opportunity to the public library the Upper Pine Fire District, schools and local business districts to attach and acquire services from vendors. In Ignacio, the project deployed almost one and a half miles of aerial and buried fiber, costing about $32,000. In Ignacio, community fiber optic infrastructure is owned by the school district and connects the majority of community anchor institutions. 
The Southern Ute Indian Tribe also owns fiber and wireless infrastructure within the town and has its own IT department. The SCAN project will partner with the tribe wherever possible to make use of tribal infrastructure in the effort to improve broadband in the town. The City of Cortez is constructing fiber and wireless infrastructure to implement a private intra-community network. Cortez will operate a multi-service open network that will bring fiber directly to homes and businesses and provide transport services for private service providers. The network, known as GovNet, already serves city and county facilities, the local hospital, fire district, and school district. The first round of the project is complete and has significantly increased the linear feet of fiber in the city and installed necessary electronic equipment to feed a gigabit passive optical network as shown in green on the map. The majority of community anchor institutions are served by fiber optic infrastructure and the remaining institutions will be connected during subsequent stages of the city's network infrastructure project. The SCAN project has aggregated services at a price point equal or better than DSL pricing from the incumbent provider. The internet connections went from 45 megabits for $3,000 a month to 250 megabits for about the same price. This is a 5.5 times increase in bandwidth for the same dollars. The City of Cortez has six partners using the open access system to provide service on the fiber to the business project. These include Farmers Telephone, Fast Track, Brainstorm Internet, Cedar Networks, Velocity Net, and Data Safe Services. In the town of Dolores, the SCAN project deployed almost 2,000 feet of aerial and buried fiber, costing about $48,000 government facilities, community anchor institutions, businesses and residents of the town receive most services via wireless infrastructure. There is no community-owned wireless or fiber infrastructure in Dolores, and the town does not have its own IT department. Dolores partnered with local provider FastTrack to share fiber so as to avoid overbuilding and cut costs. Aerial Fiber connects the town to the backbone infrastructure owned by Tri-State Generation and Transmission, which runs south of Dolores. Within the town of Mancus, the SCAN project deployed almost 6,500 feet of aerial and buried fiber, costing about $66,000. The Town of Mancus owns microwave equipment that provides services from the Town Hall to the School District, Fire District, and Library. Mancus partnered with local provider FastTrack to share fiber and avoid overbuilding and cutting costs. The SCAN project deployed almost one mile of aerial and buried fiber within the Town of Silverton, costing about $192,000. Because of its geographic isolation, the town has severely limited telecommunications connectivity to the rest of the region. The town is connected to the nearest fiber spur, which runs north from Durango to Cascade Village via microwave technology. Private service providers are reluctant to invest in fiber connectivity into Silverton from the north and south because of the high cost of construction through the mountains. Within the town, Quest has run fiber from its facility to the town school, library, and post office. This fiber run does not provide service for the majority of community institutions, which are served via wireless technology. Conclusion, um, the Southwest Colorado Access Network, otherwise known as the SCAN network, um, it really began as just a of government buildings so the governments could control their costs and eliminate some high costs of duplicate services in all of their buildings. This network exceeded that goal by simply allowing these governments to think beyond themselves. And so the, the first takeaway was we accomplished our goal. The second takeaway was as we did this, there we found we could collaborate and work together, municipality to municipality, county to county, 
by simply joining forces, buying software together. Um, one project that they're already down the road working on is the law enforcement by sharing a piece of software, localizing it in that scan network, and then the law enforcement agencies can communicate together to take care of uh, business in the Southwest at a much more affordable price by taking advantage of this fiber network. And furthering that thought, governments only survive on tax revenue. This building of this network is not meant to be a money generating uh, adventure. Instead, by putting it in such a location that we partner with our ISPs and they take advantage of our uh, local loops by building the middle mile, connecting all those up, they can provide services to businesses and residents at a much more affordable price. Um, city of Cortez and the City of Durango are already experiencing that phenomenon. We hope to extend that out to the smaller, more rural communities like Pagosa, Ignatio, Silverton, Bayfield, Mancas, Dolores, and Dove Creek. We all have businesses that could use that higher bandwidth. We're hoping that phenomenon continues. So as we look at this, over time, our original thought was simply to connect the buildings. But through this three-year process, we discovered there was a way to have a much larger return on the investment. So through that great partnership between Department of Local Affairs and the Southwest COG, we have been able to maximize that $3 million investment with our $1 million match to bring not only lower costs for the government, but also higher bandwidth and lower costs for our commercial uh, and our residential customers as well, which brings a lot more return for all of us. And this project can be repeated anywhere in the state by just simply following the same process. Take what your goal is and then think about how you can maximize that goal and maximize those dollars used.